Welcome to the chemistry question, Jordan here, and I've moved back home for the summer now, so I'll be recording in a different spot for the next three months. However, I will still continue to make videos, and hopefully they will be even more awesome because I have more time to do them. Today I wanted to talk about some exciting science news from the past week, where a team of researchers at CERN have, for the first time, discovered the ionization potential for astatine, which, that element over there, and that was the last naturally occurring element for which that had not been discovered. Now, astatine is very rare. In fact, it's often considered the rarest element. It is estimated that less than one ounce of it exists on the entire Earth at any given time, and that one ounce is not constant because Acetine's half-life is about 8.1 hours for its most stable isotope, so it doesn't stay around very long. The only reason it exists at all on Earth is just a byproduct of uranium decay. So to give an idea of how little, I have two chunks of chromium here that together have a mass slightly greater than one ounce, about 32 grams or so. So about 10% more than an ounce, and chromium is about 10% more dense than astatine is predicted to be. So it works out, and you get a rough idea of that alone would be a good estimate of all the astatine that's on Earth. So the only thing we really had known about astatine was from a few experiments conducted in 1964, that showed two spectral lines from a 70 nanogram sample and the ultraviolet range. And that's really about all we knew. Everything else was predicted. But this last week at CERN, the ionization potential was first measured to be about 9.32 electron volts, which puts it pretty much where predicted. However, it's important that we get this information and start classifying this astatine because it has potential to be used for cancer treatment and just by short-range bombardment of cancer cells with radiation and to determine the properties of lumen septium. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe, leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.